Hi everyone, Doc2 Snippets again, and um, yeah, I'm reviewing another figure from Wave 1G or Wave 3. Um, this time it's Silurian General Restack. Uh, the other Silurian available is Silurian Warrior Alea, which comes with a removable mask, but I didn't get her because she is in the Toys R Us set that includes the Eternal Dalek. And I want to get that, so I don't want duplicates of her. Um, on the front, all normal, highly detailed action figure, fully poseable, everything's the same. But on the back, it's got, like the underhinge Cyberman that I did, the backing card's the same. But it's new for this wave. Um, both the Silurians, the Smiley with two heads, Prisoner Zero, both the stone figures, and Francesco and the Roman Auton. Down here are all the details, and I keep getting these figures with the hollow sticker missing. I don't know why. It used to be very rare to get figures like that, but now it seems to be every single figure from Forbidden Planet. But anyway, yeah, I'll get her out, and we'll review her, because she looks very, very nice. Right, here I am again, and I have, um... Opened General Restack, and um, she is absolutely amazing. Now, she's got tremendous detail on her face, and the body's quite plain, but the gun's really nice, so I'm going to take you through her. So, to start with, let's do the gun. It doesn't stay in very well, but it is easy to get in. Um, hasn't got much detail, it's just silver, has got a few lines, a few line effects on it, as you can see, and then you've got the centre, which is very shiny, and nice, um, yeah, it fits in both her hands, oh, where's it gone, there, and you can point it at someone, as they're about to be shot, um, yeah, that's the gun, now onto the actual figure. Um, just go from the legs up. On the legs, it's um very. Let's say. I wasn't really expecting boots to be on on a Silurian when um. We first saw them in Hungry Earth and Cold Blood. Um. I was expecting them to be wearing something more menacing, almost. But, there you go. And moving up, we've got grey trousers. And then you've got, um, which is another disappointing thing from character options, where they have rushed the work on this figure a bit. As you can see, bits have been left red, unpainted, and bits have been grey here. That's a shame. But still, lovely figure, moving up. The body's good with the red coat. And then grey arms with lining effects. And finally, grey gloves. Um, I'll go on to the articulation in a minute. It's got a lovely red belt. And a nice gold collar. With grey, more lines here. Shows she's a general on each shoulder. So, soldier, sh shoulder, sorry. Um, yeah, on the back, nice stitching effect, like the iron side. And now we'll go on to the face. Now, on the face, it twists. I don't think it's 360 degrees where it twists. Blue eyes, and there is detail on all the scales. Nice layered effect here and green lips. This head is incredibly detailed. And yeah, that's the detail for you. And now we'll move on to articulation. Right, to start over on the articulation, let's do the arms. Yeah, she's got the second joint, which is good. Um, arms bend as usual and hands swivel. And they move a bit at the shoulders, but don't do a 360 because of this lovely cloak thing, gown it would be. 
Um, yeah, she's got grey gloves, as I've said. That's the articulation on the shoulders. Um, going down, the knees bend, and the feet and boots turn. It's on both arm, on both legs, and then the head, like I've said, twists a bit. It doesn't go the full way around. Well, it might, but I don't want to damage her. So that's her. She, as I say, she comes with her gun. I can just put her in a shooting position it's to display how she holds her gun. It's not very hard, obviously. You just line up the two hands and then sort of bend it around a bit. Sort of put it back in, do what you need to do. Twist her, that's not very good. It's not as good as I had it at first. But anyway, it just displays that she comes with a gun. She's holding her gun. Um, yeah, this figure's lovely. It's got brilliant detail on the face. I'm going to give it, because of the fact there's the bits of paint that aren't properly painted. Um, that might not be on all of them, I don't know. But there's nothing really wrong with this figure. I think I'll give it a 10. Yep, absolutely a 10 out of 10 on this figure. Really, really nice and definitely worth buying when you can get it because at the moment it's not really on general release, I've heard. So, yeah. Definitely buy Solurian General Restack. See you guys.